Hello and welcome to Moonride. I'm Dave Johnson and I'm channeling the man in the moon today. I want to look at two political topics. The first one is, will the Republicans try to steal the election again? And that I should say is the Trumpist Republicans, not the good ones. Uh, the other question is Ukraine. It looks like Ukraine's starting to really make a dent in Russia. So this will also be a look at uh, Russia. Let's uh, start now. Um, I am going to put up a link to the Cosmic Connectors Collective because they're doing just brilliant work. Don't miss this uh, group of people who are trans-channeling with the universe answering your questions. So let's uh, first start with the election, the U.S. election. And the question is, will they... Uh, try to cheat. Now, I should preface this, but as I am saying, it just looks smooth sailing here for Kamala Harris and Waltz. They're just, when I just tune in now, I just get, you know, resolution, smiling, happy people, or it just seems like it's mostly solved for schadenfreude purposes. You know, you're just going to watch Trump kind of stumble and fall and deteriorate for the next couple of months. But it is also very important to vote. I know that uh, it looks like a win, but we need to win by a lot. You know, 67 votes is needed to um, impeach a Supreme Court justice, for example. So do vote. Don't not vote. But also keep in mind, we need to make sure the vote is so good that they can't fiddle with the numbers. And that is that um, Trump's people are in certain places and they can mess with the vote tallies. Let's see if that's going to be a problem. Okay, I'm just taking a look at uh, Georgia. Just got the feeling for Georgia because um, they are kind of making these laws that mean like someone can just nullify votes, etc. At least they're trying. But one thing I'm seeing is a lot of light. I think that um, Georgia's, <clears throat> they've called enough attention to the situation in Georgia. Mm, There's just a lot of light. It's like a highway of light. So Spirit, or have they solved that? Kamala Harris is giving me a nod. She's like, yeah, we've called enough attention to it. People are paying attention. It seems like I see some grumpy conservative faces, but it seems like they got the message. You know, other people who tried to do this went to jail or lost their license to practice law, et cetera. They are facing consequences. And as it looks like Trump is losing, they are very mindful of the consequences of breaking the law. And people have noticed eyes are on them. I'm seeing Kemp too and... Kemp is in a very uncomfortable position. He's the uh, Georgia Republican governor, and he seems to be really like, uh-oh, um, I can't. He's in the middle. He can't totally support Trump because that would be illegal activities. And um, there was some hesitation being a Republican in sort of rescuing the system, uh, the Democratic system sort of stuck in the middle and it's not good for him he is suffering at the same time he's got to he, he can't uh, he can't overturn the votes he just he, he sees there's consequences to that so harris is telling me that this is it's going to be okay there but michigan is going to be a problem yeah and that's just i see people Specifically, Kamala Harris going, hmm, Michigan. There's just these random portions of Michigan. There's like one on one sort of southeastern corner and one way the heck up in the north where they're sort of like. It's like the, the, the sections are, are sort of pink. And there's some people protesting. And I mean, when I say pink, I mean like not quite red. I see people protesting. Oh, and they look like they've, they're kind of surprised because they're more pink than they thought. More Dems voted 
uh, in those regions than they thought. There are some people protesting. Broken glass, I do see them uh, sort of rioting. The uh, government does seem mindful that they don't want them to come in and they're not going to let them. They're just sort of having this, you know, um, I guess I'm going to call it a riot in what appears to be some kind of a square. There's a fountain nearby. People are running away. They're running around. But it's kind of more of a, hmm, it's not the end of the world. It's not a, it doesn't have a significant impact on the election. It's just a post-election sort of, <clears throat> I don't know, what could we call that? A eruption, sort of? And it is serious. There, 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 it, it does seem to be uh, higher up. There are big players pulling levers. It might take longer to sort that election out than is normal. Mm. There is a little bit of a feeling, it's just a little bit mm, tearful that a, it, something does not work out well in Michigan. I don't think that it is going to make a difference in the election, but something's wrong there and it won't be fixed in a timely fashion. Like maybe it'll take a really long time to get the votes out of Michigan. Again, I'm seeing Kamala Harris cheering. It won't make a difference, but it seems very disappointing. Just disappointing in general that the rule of law is not being uh, held high. Any other places? Yeah, I just see Kamala sort of rising above. She was sort of being pressed by crowds on both sides, but she seems to uh, rise above and uh, be able to speak to people. Very good quality. She seems to be able to speak to uh, both sides to some degree with, uh, with everybody holding their dignity. Great, let's take a look at uh, Putin and Ukraine. Uh, Zelensky is just showing up for small victories. It's kind of just got one muscle, not two, but just one like, hey, this is my power. Putin is losing his mind. You know, for him, it's it's intriguing. Like, the longer the delay lasts, the worse that it is for Putin. Even if there's a direct win by Zelensky in Ukraine, the longer they wait, the longer that it becomes a problem, the more Putin is at risk. The sanctions are working to put them on edge. People are um, starting to face things like shortages in Russia, I should say. And it's reminding them of dark days of communism. And it's going to lead to things like a higher rate of crime because people are getting a little bit desperate. Putin has enemies on a lot of different sides within his own departments, within... Um, some regions seem even risky and potentially going to break away. The um, he's feared. He fears the um, collection of the countries surrounding Ukraine, the NATO type potential countries. He's really regretting it. He actually over as an overstated his own abilities there.
a bloody knife. Uh, Putin holds a bloody knife in his hand. He just has the effect of like crazy eyes. He's just like starting to really, really go nuts. And he's starting to lash out at anyone, right? It's like a drowning person. He's lashing out. He's attacking this general and that general. He's doing very self-destructive things. Again, it seems like he's being kept alive by um, injections, some kind of injection. Clear liquid injection. But even he's worried about that. Somebody could poison it. I'm seeing that section um, in um, Zelensky took out of Russia. It's looking like it's getting a little bigger, actually, that just a teeny bit bigger. And it looks like Zelensky succeeded in taking just another small chunk. And then maybe another small chunk. Putin doesn't have the forces to send to these places. And people are starting to resist him. There are generals who are starting to be a bit flip. And they're like, look, you can't just, you can't just, uh, you know, create an army, you know, sorry, I'm busy. And yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. He's starting to get some pushback because these generals are starting to wonder how long Putin will last anyway. And they would be in a better position if they delay Putin's desires than if they accede to them. The generals no longer believe that Putin's going to win. They know what's really going on. And so they're not very gung-ho to accept. It's just a question in their minds of time before he goes. And when he does go, they want to be the general that said, I refused his orders. I didn't do anything wrong. You know, pick me for president. They don't want to be on his side anymore. It's a bit like what's happening with the uh, Republicans and Trump. There are people who don't want to be on the wrong side when this all shakes down. Anything else here for Putin? He would love to get out of Ukraine right now. He would do anything. If he could save face and get out of Ukraine, he, he's ready to do it. So he's finally read the writing on the wall. He's finally figured out that he would it would be better if he lost right now than if he kept going. He's willing to give up portions of uh, conquered territory, including the territory that he conquered uh, 10 years ago. He's willing to give up a lot of it. Let's just say just a little bit of a window on the ocean for Putin. It, this could be negotiated. Zelensky doesn't really have that much motivation to negotiate any of this. So, you know, time is on Zelensky's and Ukraine's side. And something interesting with Putin. I just get like Putin buried alive, or maybe like he's in a building and the roof collapses onto him. This is, doesn't seem to be necessarily Ukraine's doing. I think that it could be the people working for Putin are ready to get rid of him. And just Putin keeps showing me a watch. Uh, it, it's a question of time. And my feeling is the war will be over by February. Or it will be ending. They'll be asking for peace. I think they will give almost all the territory back. Yeah, this ascension of the you know, conservatives, the <clears throat> sort of anti-truth brigade that we have seen, the 
fascist movement here, it is rounding a corner where it's sort of facing the consequences. Nobody likes a dictatorship, even people who have power in the beginning, they don't have power in the end. There's really only few, few people who get any power out of a dictatorship. And that includes, you know, 98% of Russian people, including even sort of warlord gangster types. They are not benefited anymore by Putin. So understand this war is going as well as it could at the moment. All right. Thanks so much for watching.